what is going on guys and girls so we are back here with some more sky factory and this is the first uh first recorded episode in a while i've been doing live streams for um the majority of the past couple episodes so uh, i suppose that means that uh if you haven't seen those it's time to take a little tour of what we've improved so far so uh you might notice this area looks a little bit different this is our uh tree growing area for now and i have some buckets here that i was using to grow some dirt um, over here we have a now fully functional mob grinder that actually works. As you can see, we have, oh gosh, a whole lot of creepers underneath here. Who, uh, I can just punch all the mobs, but oh boy, is this a, a loud, loud area. But, uh, this is all of our, uh, mobs that are spawning up top in the mob grinder. And then they, uh, they fall onto wooden spikes and, uh that we are good and this is our little uh collection chest here for all the loot bags and other loot that comes from the mobs that i've been gathering so far uh over here our cobblestone generator i decided to just make it completely automatic and now it just automatically filters into this chest so we don't have to keep pulling it out our smeltery <laughs> oh I'll, sh I'll show you the smeltery in a second but down here down here is where we have our auto cobblestone magmatic generator power thing going and it has been gathering things like crazy so this is you know a whole stack of gold ore pieces a whole stack and then some of iron ore pieces lead we've got seven diamonds which is great seven diamonds is incredible it's basically consuming power just as fast as it can make it for between uh all of these and this is building up gravel because the uh this cannot go through it fast enough, but if we fed it some food right now, I'm sure it'd go through things lickety split and gather all this stuff. But uh, that's with all of this iron that we've been uh, obtaining from here, I've been throwing it straight into the. Uh, that was from a creeper that exploded. I'll patch that up in a little bit. But uh, from all the uh, iron we've been gathering, yeah, that's that's eight blocks and three ingots worth of iron in there right now just a second and then uh, right over here we still have uh, like three more four more blocks worth of iron in the uh, chest here and we still have two more diamonds there so um so far automation is going really really smoothly um i used the dirt over that i was making over there to make ourselves a bigger uh, expanded area for uh animals to spawn so far we still have just two sheep uh but hopefully you can see that i died right there <laughs> building Oh, it was a great time dying all over the place everywhere. Um, luckily, we have ropes to get up and down. Um, so that's um, about it for everything in the way of... That is not... Did not know you could put that in there. Um, that's it in the way of improvements so far. But I figured um, we do a little bit of Tinker's Construct today. So we have ourselves our casts over here, right? And I figured we'd make ourselves a pickaxe a broadsword and then any other tools we can think of so i we already have these casts from i guess last time i wanted to make something and i just figured hey why not go ahead and do it so my um my main thing here is i wanted to create um we have what is it over here the part builder and the stencil table so we want to take the part builder and we're gonna make a bone copper and iron broadsword so I already looked into it. The iron will give us ma uh, magnetism so that things are attracted when you swing the sword. Um, I think it's either when you swing the sword or when you kill something, it's attracted to you. Either way, magnetism. And then um, on top of that, we are going to do a bone tool rod so it improves the damage because it's bone. And then we are going to do a copper just for the XP boost that it gives us. So if we take this and we go get some of the bones we've been gathering, let's see how many we have in here. That is a whole stack and then 33 bones. We only need like, I don't know, maybe six. I don't know what the material cost is for that. But if we go and we toss it, I still have F7 enabled while I was doing some work. All right, so if we throw in the tool rod pattern there and then throw in our bones. Hey, there we go, bone tool rod and it's fractured. So that means, um, let's see, it's, I don't think it says it on here. Oh, it only costs one oddly enough. All right, there we go. Um, can I still, yep, I can still stack them. That can be tossed in there, and it is fractured. That I mean, it will tell us the stats when we finally put it together in here, right in here. And if we go to a broadsword, we stick you in there. Cool, tool rod so far. That is right there. 
So now we're going to want to make our iron, uh, our iron sword head, uh, sword blade. So there we go. Wait for that to cool down, and then we are going to want the, not the tool rod cast, but the uh, cross guard cast, right? Because that's the next thing that goes into it. The cross guard. No, it's a wide guard. All right, so we're going to have to make ourselves a wide guard real quick. Let's see here. Let's toss down the, uh, the iron sword blade. Boop. Right there, which is magnetic too. And then um, let's see if we have a wide. Nope, we do not. So let's make that pattern in here and make the wide guard. This is the wide guard. No, that's tough binding. That's the wide guard plate. There we go. And then um, we'll get some cobblestone. Turn that into a uh, to a wide guard. Nope, right here. Toss you in there. You right up there. We got ourselves a wide guard. And then um, oops. right back in there for you. No wait, we yeah wait got it. All right, right here. We'll use our remaining gold. Right there. <laughs> the remaining gold. We have like eight ingots, right? Oh, we have two blocks worth of it. I did not think we had that much. All right, right there. And now, do we have copper in here? We do. All right, so that should be enough to make ourselves a copper wide guard. All right, on our way to improved weapons. And now if we put these all together right here, Boom. So it's fractured, so your tool's damage is increased. It's magnetic, so hitting things attracts nearby things. And then, uh, free bonus XP. Uh, the attack is 7.5, 3 modifiers. The durability isn't all that great, but it's good for the level that we have it on. And there we go. Look at this beautiful, beautiful sword. Let's go test it out on the mob grinder. Look at all the mobs here. Oh, beautiful. It just... Sweeps up everything. Beautiful. Cleans up everything real quickly. Oh god, that... Oh god, ow. Alright, nope. Nope. We'll wait for everything to die down there. Maybe it's... Maybe we should make a sound muffler for all those things. But, um, more loot bags, more of everything else in here. Hey, we finally have some sugar, so that's... Neato. Do we just get chests from stuff falling? All right, cool. That's fine, I suppose. Um, all right, so now that we have our nice uh, iron broadsword, I guess we can go ahead and make ourselves um, go ahead and make ourselves a pickaxe because these stone pickaxes are just not doing it anymore. So what we need, right, is a is these stencils, and we just need a pickaxe head right oh well, that's a scythe head i know but um pickaxe head and then a binding which i don't remember which binding we need um pickaxe a tough tough binding or whatever this one is just a binding pattern okay cool and now we should make these all into stone cobblestone here that in there and that there one to K and now make our casts. All right. Nope. Wait. Gold. Gold cast. My B there. And now we have our pickaxe head. And let's put in the stone binding. All right. And there we go. Now, I figured we probably want to do a um, iron. Uh, I think I have materials and use still on here. So I think, ah, I think we still want to do a uh, iron tool rod or an iron head um, because it's mining level of diamond and uh, the mining speed is pretty good and, you know, magnetic is still a thing. But I'm not sure for everything else what we want to make it out of. So, I mean, we don't really need XP for copper. That's not really a thing we need to do. Um, but the, the doing, like, the extra, like, the binding out of it gives us, like, an, 100 extra XP um, or durability. Now, what is the 
Uh, lead is soft, so we don't want to necessarily do that. Now, we do have a couple silver, um, but that really only benefits against undead enemies for attacking, so we don't really want to do that either. And now, steel adds in a great bit of durability if you put it as the handle, so I figured... We should, oh, and it does a, oh, maybe we should make a steel pickaxe then. Um, steel, and then we can do an iron handle still for the magnetism. But, um, I'm not sure about the binding, which we could do, we could do a paper. Because that'll give us extra, um, modifiers. So, perhaps we should look up how to make steel, right? So, steel. Uh, okay, what is just a steel, just a steel ingot. Oh, where are you? Just plain old steel. Steel ingot. Okay, steel essence. New no. and smelting. No furnace. Roo -roo -roo. Casting is molten steel, which is just steel nuggets. That's not what we need. You gonna tell us how we actually mix steel or nah? Pull together. Which is going to take a little bit of, uh, of building. So here's the alloy smelter. As you can see, it requires all this. And the machine chaser, which requires a basic capacitor, which we need gold nuggets and copper ingots and all this other wonderful stuff. So you know what? I figured, why not go and make it? So let's get ourselves the iron ingot cast here. Or the ingot cast. Let's do our copper. And let's just get a copper ingot. Then we'll get ourselves a gold ingot. Or actually, I think we have... A couple of gold ingots in the house over here right uh, right here and we'll just transfer those into nuggets Boop. and then um, we need two redstone for the basic capacitor uh, right uh, yep and there we go basic capacitor now into a machine chassis we need to make iron bars so we need our blocks of iron finally it's about time that we get to use them let's just pull out all four oops that is not the button i meant to press and now go this way um turn that all into iron because we are really going to need it so 16 iron bars and that should be doable hey a machine machine chassis all right let's go get stone for the furnace we are really filling up this chest holy crap it's an endless supply of uh, the uh, cobblestone, I guess. And now we just need the cauldron. There we go. And now we should have ourselves an alloy smelter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I figured we'd also make ourselves another magmatic generator. Uh, magmatic generator. Just because um, we're not going to have enough redstone right off the bat for that. But you know what is a good way to get more redstone right here now? Through loot bags, since that's something we can do. So I think if we take nine regular loot bags, we can build them up into uh, into uncommon, right? I think it's a nine. I'm not sure, though. If we click here. Let's see about making um, these. I know, it's just four. Interesting. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do it uh, before then. Oh, hey, look. it. There we go. Now, I don't... Um, I don't remember redstone. Let's see. Um, loot bag. Yeah, that's from Uncommon. Okay, so here we go. Nope, nothing there. Okay, we need to put this stuff in a chest. All into the chest you go. Do you, oh, no, still want that. Don't need any of this stuff. We can put that in the other chest. Soul sand. That's a plus. Uh, we can put the remaining nuggets. Don't need that book. Don't need Tinker's Construct book anymore. And we got clownfish. I guess that's a source of food if we want it. All right. Next one. Bricks. Gotta love bricks. Uh, these two. Come on, redstone. Hey, at least we got an iron builder's wand. And that chest is, that chest is awful already. And now, last one. Damn. We got electric steel, but that's not really going to do us much good for in the way of redstone. All right. So I guess we can put in some sand into the auto sieve, luckily, or dust into the auto sieve, because that's how you get redstone. Um, ow. Those were my thighs. 
luckily we have a build up of gravel right here so we can just destroy this and then um we can do ourselves some good by getting some redstone hopefully and in the meantime we can build ourselves up a um we can build ourselves some more parts for the tool all right there we go and now one last bash all the dust in the world let's eat up all right now let's go toss it into the auto sieve uh no thank you no okay we gotta do it like this can i i can't place the remaining gravel in there anymore either oh great great actually can i put them in here no i can't i don't think i can do that well i can do that though all right just gonna have chests full of stuff that are random actually we got slime too we could always make green slime crystals um we're not green slime crystals green slime um parts for tinker's construct as well all right so you're saving sand let's go see how much the sugar that we got uh boosts you right so where is the sugar did i put it in here uh, there's one sugar actually we could open up some common loot bags as well let's see hey even more sugar that's exactly what we needed at this moment and then packing tape dark oak saplings raw salmon and name tags okay now let's go let's go feed our little deceiving friend down here some uh, sugar no it's not sugar that we feed you interesting i thought that's what it was no i guess it's just food well i know the apples do a five times speed boost or four times of the worth of a speed boost so let's go grab our surplus of apples at the moment here they are and saving them just for this and let's break my ankles again actually jump. you know that still broke my ankles all right there we go uh 4.0 speed boost there Hope you get some redstone out of it. Hey, that's another piece. We need at least four. So let's just keep feeding you some apples there. And wait for some redstone. All right, so we got six pieces of redstone from our little buddy down there going through his motion. So I think we have more uh, machine chassis in one of these chests over here to build the basic furnace generator. Yep. And then uh, we're going to need a bucket of lava as well. Stump you in here and then go grab that from right down over here. Ow, that is really... Got to stop doing that. All right, pick up a bucket of you. And then let's go and build ourselves our uh, furnace generator. And then we go... Oh, I am missing a furnace and iron. Did I use up all the iron from before? Or did I just put it somewhere? I don't remember. Did I clear? Did I put it in here? I hope I did not. No, I didn't. Uh, Alright, let's... Did I use up all four blocks already? Nope, there's some iron. And did I put any more in here? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Okie dokie. Let's get ourselves some more uh, cobblestone as well. So that we can build ourselves a furnace alrighty now a furnace oops that's supposed to go there and let's do this one and then a magmatic generator oh I am missing two pieces of gold let's get those then gold Boop. one two and boom another magmatic generator perfect alrighty now let's go and stick you down here and then um we'll just put you right here for now wow that is really close to the friggin edge i wish i had more stuff to build out with uh, let's just build out with this for now 
All right, come on. Boop. There we go. Now I don't feel so scared for my life. All right. Magmatic generator, um, I guess we can either just do straight uh, pipes or, you know, I have other fluid. Fluid uh, conduits. Actually, everything's already piping through to the uh, same thing. So it's probably worth it to take the transfer pipes and uh, keep it along the main system. Because then it's pulling from both crucibles instead of just one. There we go. Now you should be filling up. You're oh, there we go. Yeah, you're filling up very nicely. Was that all the stores that we had? Yeah, it was. All right, perfect though. That's all the the lava. It's filling up with power. All right, so now we go and get ourselves an alloy smelter, and we will be beautifully. Or actually, we have our alloys our, our alloy smelter on us place you down right here and there you go you got RF as well and now we can make ourselves some uh, steel we got coal that's right in here and let's see about doing this so we need um, how many pieces of steel hmm let's do let's do like five or six or maybe we'll just do four for now and then we'll throw in the coal Oh, no, why are you burning stuff? That's not... That's not what I... No, stop it. That's not what I wanted you to do. How do you work? No. Do not... Active without signal. Never active. I don't know. Configure IO. No, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Can I do... Um, boop, boop. Let's see about doing steel. It's electric steel. That's not what I need. Need conductive iron. That's something as well. Nope, not dark steel, just regular old steel. That is an enderman bouncing around, because I did not put torches on the roof of um my thing. Is it almost 72%? I don't understand. He clearly found cover somewhere. Who knows? But uh, let us look for steel. All right, steel. Just plain old steel ingots. And with an alloy smelter, it's coal powder. Ah, so we need to crush coal. How do you do that? How do you crush coal? With an alchemy table or a sag mill? Well, we, we've we needed this anyway, so might as well build ourselves a sag mill anyway. The sag mill can operate in place of our auto hammer to free up some power there. And it works way faster. So you know what? Screw it. Let's build ourselves a sag mill. Just go here, here, there. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's go there. Crushed coal, coal sand, coal powder. Add a sag mill. How do we build you? All right, flint, another machine chassis, iron, and a piston. So we're going to need one more redstone that we have available. You are going crazy, Mr. Enderman. Alright, so we need some more redstone and uh, more other stuff. What? Oh, you are protected under there, I see. Hello, Mr. Enderman. I kind of want your stuff, so uh, how much health you got? Oh, nope. Nope. Haha. -ha. You can't do anything about it, Mr. Enderman. You're not the same Enderman. Nope, they are just, he, <laughs> he oh gosh, he got me, he got me there, I'll give him that much, but, uh, I think the other one died right over here, or at least they teleported, oh, there's our other friendo down there, another death point, that's great, so many death points everywhere, uh, let's see, where did I, where's our sword, there it is, alrighty, let us, Get our sag mill on.